The Pels moved to three and two. Anthony Davis, 27 and 11. And Anthony Davis joins us now from San Antonio via Arena Link. And Anthony, talk to us about the game winning bucket when you're just one on one, face up with Aaron Baines. Were you surprised Tim Duncan was not in the game at that point? And just describe the play and how you scored that bucket. Yeah, um, the play was supposed to actually go to Drew. You know, on the back door, I supposed to look for him. But in my mind, you know, I always told Coach I wanted the moments. I wanted to be that guy who, you know, get the game winning bucket for us. So um, I caught the ball and just tried to be aggressive like I was the whole game, you know, and just tried Omaha, to attack the basket Omaha. and make the layup. Anthony, this is Mike Fratello. Tell us what a win in San Antonio does for your team and, and the mentality as they move forward during this season. Oh, yeah, it's a big win. You know, um, since I've been here for three years, we haven't, you know, beat San Antonio here or at home. So this is a big win. Our goal is to come in and get this win. You know, we know the Spurs. They know us. And um, we just tried to be disciplined. You know, they kind of get back into it the last four minutes. And we kind of, you know, slowed down our pace. But we tried to get it back, got to stop. And when they hit the three free throws, we came in the timeout and said we're going to get a bucket. You know, but it's a big win for us. But um, we got to enjoy it tonight. You know, get ready for practice tomorrow and try to go to Cleveland and get another one. Anthony, Rick Fox here. Uh, you've been compared to Tim Duncan, the great Tim Duncan. Obviously, he has a number of years ahead in his career than you you have. But give us your thoughts on Tim and, and what he he's meant to the game from your perspective. Yeah, he was a great player. You know, first battle Hall of Famer, no, no question. You know, um, he's tough to defend. You know, uh, he gets in the paint. You know, can shoot the ball, um, jump hooks, turn around. So, you know, it, it's, it's a load down there trying to guard him. Um, so we always try to help, you know, defensively, you know, with, with, when a guy is single on Tim, you know, but he, he's definitely one of them players where you, you definitely respect, you know, whether you're big or guard. You know, if you don't play basketball, you know, you still have to respect him for um, what he brought to the game. Anthony, you're one of the leading shot blockers in the NBA. You had six swats against the Spurs tonight, but – the biggest block of the game for your team was by the point guard, Drew Holiday, on the closeout on the corner three attempt by Kawhi Leonard. What did you see there, and how proud are you of Drew Holiday to come up with that defensive play? Yeah, I'm very proud of Drew. You know, he's one of the toughest guys that I know, really getting to the ball defensively um, on anybody. And um, the only thing is, you know, they called that foul on Eric. Know, uh, to play before that, so I thought they were gonna call a foul as well. And Drew, so I kind of got nervous. You know, I'm um, then a, you know, O'Mara got the rebound and kind of got a swiped away from him. And you know, everybody just kind of stopped. And Kawhi came and got the ball. So I was like, please don't make this floater. You know, when also um, kind of, you know, let go right there and in there and just celebrated the win. Well, Anthony, get back with your teammates and continue celebrating this fantastic win for the New Orleans Pelicans. It was really fun to watch on NBA TV, and we'll talk to you down the line. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Omaha, Omaha. <laughs>